Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. So we are on to another monthly meal prep. I say this at the beginning of every single monthly meal prep, but I feel like if I don't, then I get comments and questions about it. So I do my monthly meal preps every two weeks because I have a small freezer and because it's what works best for my schedule. You could double these things and have them for a whole month, um, but this is just what works best for me. So today I've got a bunch of recipes that I've made before and I've loved them enough to make them again and I think that's really important is to find your go-to recipes recipes that you can kind of think of off the top of your head and they're just something that you can easily scratch down whenever you're meal prepping or when you're getting ready to do um, freezer prep and stuff like that it's a mixture it's a barrage of different types of meals and you guys know that you can make these and you're gonna like them because we, I've made them multiple times also, if you're new around here, I do a lot of healthy choices, a lot of gluten-free things. I also eat keto myself, so I mix in some keto stuff. It's just a mixed bag of lots of things, something for everyone. I don't think I have anything more to say, so let's go ahead and get started. The first recipe that we're gonna make is one that we enjoyed so much the first time, and it's the broccoli chicken bacon foil packs. They're super delicious. I'm doubling the recipe. The recipe makes four packs, but I'm going to be making eight. And the great thing about putting these in your freezer is you can pull out one pack at a time if somebody needs a lunch, or if you're gonna make dinner, you can pull out a couple packs. It's kind of easy to adjust the serving size with this. And I am going to be freezing the chicken raw so that whenever I get them out, I'll just put them in the oven and bake them up like that. Now that we've got those in the freezer, we're gonna work on some dupes for Red Lobster's cheesy biscuits. I made these a little while ago and they are so amazing. They're great dipped in soup, dipped in a little bit of ranch dressing with some butter across them. They're just delicious and they are gluten free and of course keto friendly. And they're kind of just a drop biscuit so I'm gonna bake them up. I'm doing a double batch today just because they were so great to have in the freezer and we could pop them in the microwave, warm them up for for, you know as many as we needed for whatever meal we were having so they're really simple they have almond flour cheddar cheese some cream cheese baking powder eggs and butter and like I said they're just the drop kind so you just put them across some parchment paper and pop them in the oven
Okay, the next thing that we are going to be whipping up is some oatmeal cups. And I love this idea. It's a little bit different than having oatmeal packets around. And you can kind of adjust it to whatever you wanna put in them. You know what's in them. You know what your kids are eating. You know what you're eating. So the way that you do these is you use some silicone molds that are for muffins and things like that. You cook up the oatmeal. You can put in any kind of milk you want to, any kind of sweetener. Today I'm using almond milk and a little bit of brown sugar. And um, so you just cook it up with the quick oats. Then you put them into the silicone molds and top them with some berries or almonds or nuts of any kind, kind of any kind of topping you want to. Put them in the freezer and let them freeze the whole way through. And then you just pop them out of the molds and throw them into a bag or a container. And then to reheat them, all you have to do is take out one of those cups, put it into a bowl and reheat it with some other milk if you wanna make it a little bit more um, liquidy and you have a perfect breakfast that is nice and fresh and um, you can cut down on the amount of sugar that you're taking in instead of using the oatmeal packets. I think it's probably as my subscribers one of your most favorite most commented about recipes that I've ever done with my freezer meal preps and that is the corn dog bites where I do the gluten-free corn dog bites in my little mini muffin uh, silicone mold and they're a great option for kids instead of nuggets or you know it's a really good finger food that you can kind of sneak in as a healthy thing even though it is mimicking something that's not very healthy. So I'm going to go ahead and whip up the cornbread part. Like I said, it is gluten free. So if you're someone that that is a need of yours is to have gluten free items, this one's really great. And you can also do this without it being gluten free, just replacing um, a few of the ingredients. You can use regular flour in place of gluten free flour and things like that. So just tweak it around a little bit or just go on Pinterest and simply search corn dog bites and you will find Find a lot of recipes for them.
up, I'm making some nutty granola. This is a keto friendly recipe. It's also gluten free. It's got some coconut, shredded unsweetened shredded coconut, almond flour, and then you can use whatever nuts you have on hand. I've got some pecans, almond slivers, and then some chopped walnuts here. And at the end, we add in some chocolate chunks. And then you also need a third cup of whatever uh, pancake syrup you want to use or um, sugar-free syrup, anything that's keto friendly. And I was going to use this, but yesterday I got my keto crate and this is not sponsored by them. I usually like to show you guys what I get each month at some point in the month. Um, but there is a code below to get, I think it's $10 off your first box, which is really awesome. If you guys don't know what it is, it is all gluten-free keto friendly snacks and ingredients and kind of a fun way to explore new brands and it's always a good deal I've taken the time to like add up what all comes in the box uh, to see if you're getting a good deal for everything that's in here and you definitely are if you went to purchase these individually it would cost more than the subscription so anyways what I was thinking is all of a sudden it popped in my mind there was a syrup that came in this box so there's a salted caramel, it's from New Naturals, it's a flavored syrup, and I'm going to go ahead and use this instead of using the pancake syrup in this recipe, and it's going to make my granola taste really good. I've never seen this before, and when I pulled open my box yesterday, um, there's like all kinds of snacks and lots and lots of goodies in here, things that you can use in recipes and stuff. Um, and they're really great about balancing out like sweet things and salty things. So I'm excited to try this out and I'm gonna tell you guys how it tastes when I'm done making this up. guys we are finally to the end of the day and I'm so happy with everything that is in my freezer everything I got all put away and yeah I think I'm all set for another two weeks or so until I'm ready to do a bunch of meal prepping again I love having all of these little things in my freezer that I can grab and heat up really quickly so don't forget I will link the recipes below and anything else that you may be curious about a link for is probably linked in the description box box or it's in my Amazon shop which is also linked below if you're new here I love it if you subscribe to my channel don't forget to leave a comment give this video a like and I'll see you guys in my next video